Oh, good morning. How are things? Oh, you know, just when I thought my life couldn't get any worse. Oh, what's wrong? Well, what do you think? Simon was all I had to show for the last three years in my life. The one positive thing to come out of this stinking mess, and Peter wants to take that away and all. Just because he wants custody doesn't mean you can't be part of Simon's life. That's exactly what it means. He's made that perfectly clear. Oh, he's not told you, has he? Of course he hasn't, because it's Peter in it. Why do the hard thing when it's so easy to do nothing? Uh, what are you talking about? He's banned me from seeing Simon. He's got it into his head that I'm trying to poison Simon against Carla, so he doesn't want me to see him again. I miss him already, Kev. I miss him coming into my room in the morning. I miss all his little stories from school, and I know that I'm not his mother. Well, you have a better claim than anyone alive. Look, once Peter calms down... And... No, his mind's made up. But I love that little boy, Ken. The thought of never being able to see him again, or see him laugh, give him a hug, kiss him goodnight. Sorry, this it's not your problem. Of course it is. Just wish there was something I could do. Me too. Just shut you out of Simon's life. You've got rights. Oh, and how do I enforce him? Kidnap him? No, for as much as I can, I want to keep Simon out of all this aggro. I'm not stuck in the middle of it. Yeah, that's a pity Peter wasn't so considerate. You've done nothing to deserve this. Oh, no, I dared to criticise Carla. No bigger crime in his eyes. Where are you going? Eh? Oh, well, it's a toss-up between Bellevue Dogs and Las Vegas. What do you reckon? So you don't think I've got a right to know? <laughs> not yet. Sorry, lover. I'm just going to get a paper, actually. See you later. How's it going? We're hanging in there. It's hard for him. His pride's been hurt. Well, pride's not a luxury he can afford anymore. Carl? Yeah? You can't fetch your crate of mixes up before you go. Oh, sorry. I don't work here, remember? Oh, it's a big favour to me. It'll be a help. I'm rushed off my feet here. Oh, um, I just can't. All right. I shouldn't worry about him. Sorry? Carl. Carl? Well, I noticed he was a bit short with you earlier. It's nothing. It's uncalled for, and it's not the first time he's done it. Honestly, it's OK. No, it's not. He's under a lot of pressure, as you know, and things haven't been too good between us. I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh, fingers crossed. But he still should be lashing out at you. Unless there's something I'm not aware of. Like what? Well, you know all about his gambling. Is there something I should know? I don't... Please, Anita, if he's told you anything in confidence, you have to tell me. Not just for my sake, for his sake and all. I can't have any more secrets. Stella, he hasn't told me anything. I'm sorry. OK. But if it gives you any more hassle, you let me know, all right? Pinocchio waved goodbye to his puppet friends and skipped off down the road. He was dreaming of what Geppetto could buy with the gold coins when he bumped into a fox and a cat. I'll just get that. Hello. I've missed you, Mum. Oh, I've missed you too. Atmosphere. What do you mean? She's picked up on your vibe. She knows that you're uncomfortable with me. <sighs> no surprise, Stella can read me like a flaming book. Not the chapters on gambling, she can't. No, maybe not, but where the ladies are concerned, she's practically psychic. And has she had much call to use these special psychic powers? No, 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 not in terms of actual affairs, no, but, you know, she just knows where I'm going to before I get there. Says I got a look in my eye. What sort of look? Well, if I knew that, I wouldn't do it, would I? No, she'll know that something's going on. It's right under her flaming nose. Maybe it's not a good idea, me working here. Well, it is tempting fate, but I can't ask you to give up your job. I'd be giving up a sight more if things came out into the open. It's all right. I'll hand him a notice. Oh, sorry, Sonia, yeah, but really sorry it's come to this lot. Don't be. We got what we needed when we needed it. Now it's back to the real world. Well, in that case, I think I need a drink. Cheers. Right, has he got a uh, big nose? Do you know what depends what you mean by big? As big as Grandad's. <laughs> Your granddad hasn't got a big nose. No, I meant bigger than anybody else on the board. No, not really. Huh. My turn. Are you Catherine? Hey, how did you know that? You must have at least five or always go for the ones with hearts. Do I? Mm. Right then. So, were you... Michael? Philippe. Philippe? Hey, hang on a minute. I said to you, has he got hair? And you said yes. Philippe hasn't got a blade on his head. 
He'd make Norris look like Brian May. <laughs> He's got a beard, that's hair. I meant on his head, Si. Well, you should have said it then. Do you want a rematch? <laughs> anyway, I think it's time we let Leanne go. Besides, we've got to take you back soon. Right, well, maybe next time then, eh, mate? Therefore, and remember, no hats. No hats. Come here. Mwah. Bye. Please come back. I'll try. See you soon. Yeah. Right, I'll let you out. Yeah. Bye, Si. Bye. Can I see him again, Ken? Well, I'd like you to, but I'm in a very difficult situation. Yeah, I know, and I understand, but please, it would mean the world to me. Oh, uh, let's play it by ear. Uh, I'll, I'll certainly think about it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. See ya. Bye. You all right? Why do men insist on dropping fag butts in leftover ale? Ugh. I guess it's an unhealthy compulsion. Oh, I've had me fill of them lately. Yeah, I know, and I don't want to add to your troubles, but... Well, go on, spit it up. I need to hand in my notice. Sorry. What? Why? Well, it's just not working out. Well, it is from where I'm standing. Thanks, but... It's difficult at home, juggling shifts and the kids, and... I know what this is about. It's about Carl, isn't it? No, no, absolutely not. I'm not daft. I saw how hurt you were earlier, and... Him being funny with you. And then what with me bowling you out the other day? No wonder you want to go. No, it's not that, really. Don't worry. I'll mark his cards and I'm sorry about the wrong again. You don't have to apologise. Yes, I do. You're a cracking barmaid and I don't want to lose you. I need all the help I can get right now. Please stay. Thanks. A kettle's on. Do you want a brew? Uh, no, no thanks. Deirdre's preparing supper. Anything nice? I don't know, but uh, past experience doesn't incline me towards optimism. <laughs> well, if it's any consolation, I've got a microwave lasagna for one. Looks almost as miserable as a folk who eat them. <laughs> Still, today gave me a lift. Yes, well, uh, that's what I came to talk about. I'm afraid there's no easy way oh, to no. say that... Has Peter found out? Uh, no, 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 he hasn't, but uh, that's almost the problem. For obvious reasons, I had to ask Simon to keep it from him and... Watching him lie to his father and having to lie to my own son, well, wasn't a very pleasant experience and not one that I would care to repeat. Well, what Peter's doing is worse, you know that. I did ask him to reconsider his stance, but like you said, he wouldn't budge. Much as I disagree with him, I can't disregard his wishes again. He is Simon's father. Yeah, and I'm his mother. You've already said that. Ken, you've seen how much he cares for me. Please, you can't give me up and then snatch it away from me. You just can't. Look, I can only apologise, but what I did today was impetuous and irresponsible. No, it was right. It was the best thing for Simon. Well, at the time, possibly, yes, but it's now put us all in an impossible situation. I simply can't continue betraying my son. Sorry, Leah. 